We have left behind all were Katayanambi, Thirumaliupan, in Kalatathu Parasil field. Let us now take a little notice of that heroic Vaishnava. When Vandiyathevan mounted his horse and went towards Kudantanagar, Tirumala looked at the direction he was going and said to himself, This young man is very wicked. If we enter the gate, he enters the realm. We cannot find out whose person he really is, why and where he is going. We do not even know if he was present at the conspiratorial meeting in the Kadampur mansion. Fortunately, we told him about the child soothsayer. What we cannot know. Let's see if the child soothsayer knows. What, Swami? Are you talking to the royal tree? Are you talking to yourself? Thirumalay up and looked back after hearing the voice. A servant who had brought a horse to Vandiyathevan from Kadampur stood beside him. Father! Did you hear? I neither spoke to myself nor spoke to the royal tree. Above this tree there is a Vatela, I had a little conversation with it. Thirumali up and said. Oh! So! Is that Vidalam Saiva? Vaishnava! Said the man. That's what I was listening to. Just then you came and interrupted. Veth Alam has disappeared, let him go. What's your name, father? Why do you ask, Swami? You saved the boat from capsizing in the middle of nowhere. Shouldn't I remember you as such a saint? My name my name I Tumbangkari, Swami. He said with a drawl. Oh! I Tumbankaria? I remember hearing that. I Tumpankari then did a strange thing. Clasping both his outstretched hands one on top of the other, he shook his two thumbs, he looked at Thirumalay Upper's face while shaking. Father! What signal is this? I do not understand! said Thirumalay. Then the dark face of I Tumpankari thought a little more, eyebrows furrowed. Me? I didn't signal anything. He said. You did it. Did I see it? Tirumal's first incarnation in the Bharatanatyam Shastra has an astam. Did you do something like that? Tirumal's first incarnation? What is it? I don't know Swami. Don't you know Vishnu's first incarnation? Makavathara. You mean fish? Yes, father, yes. Good luck, Sammy. You have a strange eye. I see the Veda above the bare tree. I see the Makavathara in my bare hand. Perhaps the Samiyar has a little too much desire for fish. Chedge! Don't say such things, father. If it goes, let it go. A brave Siwar came in the boat with us, did you see which way he went? Didn't you see? I saw him come to the side where I went to buy a horse, he kept cursing you. What did he scold me for? If that heroic Sivar sees you again, he will shave his head and shave his head in front of you. Wow! Does he even know that job? He will destroy all the name in your name and leave it with water. Then I must see him, do you know where he lives? He himself told me that he has Valour. The next thing is to go and see that heroic Sivar. Father! Where are you going? Perhaps you are also going to come that way. No, no, why am I coming there? I'm going back across the fort to Katapur. Otherwise, won't the master pluck out my eye? Then turn right away, the boat is about to leave. When I Tump and Carry looked back, he saw that what all were Kadian had said was true, the boat was about to leave. All right, preacher. I'm going, said I Tump and Carry rushing towards the boathouse. Halfway through he looked back once. By then all Workadian had done a strange thing. He quickly jumped on the royal tree and went to the place where the branches were thick. Therefore he does not fall in the perspective of Itumpankari. He reached the department at Paris of the Itumpankari River. One of the boatmen asked, Are you coming to the shore, father? He asked. No, I'm coming in the next boat. You go. I Tump and Carrie said. I. That's it. I stopped the boat after seeing how fast you were coming. Saying that, 
the runner made a goal and sent the stream into the river. Meanwhile, Tirumala, who had climbed up to the middle of the king's tree and sat well hidden, said, Oko. What I thought was right. He has not boarded the boat, he is going to return. I will have to see which way he is going after coming. I saw well that his hands showed the Maka Hastha seal. What does it mean? Fish. Fish. What does the symbol of the fish mean? Ah. Isn't the fish engraved on Pandya's flag? Perhaps, ahaha. It is so. Let's see. Let's see. Let's have a little patience. He who is careful will rule the earth, and he who is furious will rule the forest. But in this age, it is better to rule the forest than to rule the earth. It seems. But let's wait and see. In this way Tirumala was saying to the invisible Vidalam in the royal tree. Soon it happened as he expected, the boat left without taking a dump and carry on board. A dump and carry stared at the royal tree from the river bank. Then he looked in all four directions. Knowing well that all were Cadian was nowhere, he returned and came under the same royal tree. He looked around once more and sat under the tree. His eyes were darting around as if expecting something or someone. But he didn't just look up at the top of the tree. Even though he had seen it, I Tumpankari did not know that he was sitting on the tree as Tirumala was hiding his wife well. This went on for about an hour. Tirumala's legs started to go numb. It seemed that he could not stay on the tree for much longer. Idumbano does not appear to have risen from under the tree. How to escape? No matter how carefully you go down the other side of the tree, you will not hear a sound. If asked, I Tump and Carrie will see to it immediately. He also had a sharp knife attached to his waist. What is certain that he will not use it on himself? What else to do? Can you scream like a demon and jump on top of your hip? If he jumps, thinking that he is a monster, he may faint from fear, won't he? Or let's run away. At that moment he too could run away. When Tirumala thought like this, it seemed that his ordeal would be over. A man was coming from the southwest, i.e. through Kudan the road. Thirumala's intuition said that it was for him that I Tumpankari had been waiting for so long. When Adumban, who was sitting under the royal tree, saw the arrival of the new man, he stood up. Vandavan made the signal that Adumban had done before. That is, he placed one outstretched palm over the other outstretched hand, waved two thumbs, and held the mole signal, seeing that, Adumban also did the same. What is your name? Asked the visitor. My name is I Tumpankari, your name. Saman Sambavan. I was expecting you. I came looking for you too. Which direction should we go? To the west. To where? To the enemy's school army. Near Thiruparambayam. Saman Sambavan looked around saying don't talk in haste. It will fall on someone's ear. There is no one here, I have seen before. Isn't there anywhere to hide on the side? There is none. Go away, then. I don't know the way so well. You go ahead. I'll follow a little behind. Stop often and see if I follow. That's it. The road is not a good road, there are woods and hills and thorns and stones. You have to walk carefully. All right, all right, you're off. Even though it's a wild way, you know you're supposed to hide if you're confronted. Known, known. I Tump and Carrie went westward along the banks of the Kalata. Saman Sambavan followed a little behind him. All were Kadayan remained at the top of the tree until both of them were out of sight. He was watching and listening to everything. Aha! Bad times. Unexpected things happen. By the grace of God we have got an opportunity to know some great mysterious thing. Now it depends on our skill to know the subject. I could only find out about the lack of room in the Kadampur mansion. Don't be fooled here. Tirapurambayam, school army, should have meant the school army of Gunga King Prithivapati. It has been a hundred years since the school was built. Therefore lies desolate, all around the forest is kneeling 
the village is a short distance away. Why are they going there? If only these two people had something to talk about, they would talk about it here. Don't have to go a long way in the forest? So, there are definitely going to be some more. Why will one of them call Prithivapati's army enemy's army? Who is Prithivapati's enemy? Aha! It seems that what we thought is true. You can look for anything. They are going along the coast. Let's go with the clay bank. Even if the forest is denser on the soil bank, it is not a disadvantage. What is the ideal of forest, hill, thorn, and stone for us? They should be afraid of us. Thinking thus and muttering with his mouth, Tirumala got down from the royal tree and went a little towards the south. Maniyar came. He built a walk along its banks to the west. All Workadian penetrated through dense forests devoid of human traffic and reached Tirapurambayampalipat temple just as the sun was setting.